Okay, so this is just a mini lecture on how to graph a line when the line of the equation is given to you in standard form. And so first, we should be able to recognize what standard form is. So, um, you will recognize standard form when the line is given to you in the following format. The equation of the line looks like ay plus bx equals c. And a, b, and c are all constants. Okay, so now that you can see and recognize standard form, if you were given this, how would you graph it? Well, you would need to find the x and y intercepts. And the x and y intercepts is where the, the line passes through the respective axis. So for the x-intercept, that's where the line goes through the x-axis. And if you wanted to find the x-intercept, then you would let y equal 0 and solve for x. And your x-intercept will eventually have the form of x, 0. And it's the same situation for y, except it's where it passes through the y-axis, and if you wanted to solve for it, you let x equal 0 and solve for y. Solve for x, solve for y, and this will look like 0, y. And so now that you have the two points, you can plot them on your graph, draw the line connecting the two. So those are how to find the x and y intercepts. Also, there was another term up here that was important, and that was slope. Slope defined is the change in the vertical direction, y, over the change in the horizontal direction, x, or you might be familiar with rise over run. But this is between two points on the line. And so since we found these two points already, you could certainly use those, but uh, when you're finding the slope, you can use any two points that are on the line. It's not limited to the x and y intercepts. Slope is usually represented by m, and if you wanted to find it with your two points, let's just call them x1, y1, x2, y2, you would find it by just taking the difference between the y over the difference in the x's. So when you have an equation in standard form, you can solve for x and y intercepts, use those points to graph a line, and also find a slope. So let's look at some practice of this here. Let's just solve for our x and y intercepts. We need to graph this line. So if we let y equal 0, it, we will have 3x equals 12. x must equal 4. So our x intercept is 4, 0. For the y intercept, that would be minus 4y equals 12. So remember, x is 0 and we let y equal 0. So y must equal minus 3, and our y-intercept then is 0 minus 3. If we plot these points, if we let each line on the grid be 1, here is our x-intercept here at 4, 0, and our y-intercept at 0 minus 3. You can draw the line connecting the two. This is our line and then find the slope. So minus 3 minus 0, 0 minus 4, gives us minus 3 over minus 4, which ends up being 3 over 4. You could check this if we went with our x, our y-intercept, sorry. We should be able to go up 3, 1, 2, 3, over 4, and hit the line. And we do, we hit our x-intercept. And that's how to graph a line in standard form.